Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody posted this picture of a font and wanted to know if anybody could help them match it. I looked around, I couldn't find anything even close. And I started looking at it. If they all, I'm pretty sure they only need these three letters. Uh, it's for like a maybe a ship or something. This would be probably the easiest letters you could ever trace. And we don't even have to trace them. We're going to do them by hand. So I'm going to make a copy of them. And I'm going to do the harder one first, which is the S. So I'm going to take a rectangle and I'm going to go from like an imaginary spot to like an imaginary spot. And then I'm going to take my, with my ratio lock in my corner, I'm going to go up and don't worry about the bottom right now. So that's pretty good. I'm going to hit the plus key on the keyboard and I'm going to try to bring it down. I'm holding down the control button or I should be. So it's in the same spot and we're pretty good. <clears throat> now we need, you know, we got, well, so either the letter's not perfect. So I'm going to move this down and then I'm going to draw some rectangles. So that's what gave me the idea this would be so easy to trace. And this, this isn't really, well, it's tracing, but it's, it's redrawing it basically. And I would suggest maybe using that. So hitting the plus key on the keyboard, try to use the same one. And see, it's just a little bit, it's a little bit off, but it probably just because of fuzziness and my circle's a little too big down here. So I'm going to have to snap to it there. And that's really it. Um, we need to take a, I mean, this is really pretty easy. You take a two point line and go, go from that edge, but hold down the control button. Whoop. So here's a good lesson. Start moving it and then hold down the control button and then go up here and do the same thing to this. Just a two point line and get to that edge and start move. I did it again. Uh, start moving it first and then hold down the control button. And then just take our graphic away. And if you look at it, we need to take away that line and that line. And that's really it. Take the smart fill tool, fill it in. And you've got an S that looks really similar, if not dead on. Now the M is just as easy. Well, the M is actually easier, but we're just going to take a rectangle. And now you wouldn't want to do this if this was a whole slew of letters. And it's a little bit hard because of the fact that it's a pretty blurry picture. He might have a better, because uh, he posted this on Facebook. And then I'm going to hit the plus key on the keyboard and I'm going to move it with a four sided cross to there. I'm actually going to grab both of them. I'm going to hit T so they'll be at least the same dimension or up and down. I'm a little bit off, but he can, he can deal with that. Now I'm going to take this and control, control D and make a duplicate. I'm going to move the center rotation to that corner and I'm going to rope. I knew I should have locked that piece. I'm going to move the center rotation and I bring it at like right there. So if the other one's at the same angle, we can go control D and make a duplicate and then mirror it and then take that, take that four sided cross and you need to be right there on that mark. Now let's, once again, let's move that out of the way. Take the virtual segment delete key and you don't have to delete any of this bottom stuff. You do have to delete this and then fill it in with black. And if the customer can tell the difference, uh, I don't think they ever will notice. And then just, and what's so easy, especially when you got double letters. Probably the easiest text I've ever redrawn. Just, I just saw it. I mean, I just looking at it, I said, well, that's rectangles and this is a scrounge. A, rounded rectangle. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.